Hey everybody, I found out that there's a little library um, located where they do one of our markets. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> so I'm just going to see if I can find it um, in this space somewhere. If the camera will turn around. So yeah, I'm just going to go for a wander in here and see if I can find it. I have some uh, kids books to drop off um, which I just had at home so um, yeah I'll take those with me because I'm sure plenty of kids pop in and would like something to read so I kind of know where it is, so we're just heading there now. Looks like some people are setting up the markets tomorrow. It's a fair way away from where I parked. But we'll see if we can find it. Cheshire cat on the side. And a little cloud. Oh, it's Hogwarts Express. Just saw that. Okay, let's open it. Let's see what there is. Nothing in there, so I'm just going to put these kids' books in. Okay. It's a nice bright sunny day here, as you can see today. So I'll continue with the little libraries during the upcoming week. Uh, within Harvey Bay, this is sort of on the road into Harvey Bay. Um, I just dropped those kids books in there, there wasn't anything that I particularly wanted for myself. Um, had a good range of stuff though. Um, so I'm just walking back to the car, but I'll catch up with you all um, during the week when I do some more of them. Till then, bye! Hey guys! I just wanted to do an intro to my little libraries tour video number two. I'm so excited for this video. Um, I did do one, so I'll pop the clip in um, after my little speech, and then the ones that I'm going to do today when I'm doing this introduction. Um, I will break it up in a few days, and then just pop it in the one video. Um, today I'm just on the way to work and I'm going to try and do two or three of them and I have my uh, bag beside me. I'll show you as we go what books I'm going to drop into some. 
I'm going to do the two little libraries that I know in the area that have lots of kids books and then um, hopefully the Snapper Street one as well which is one of my favourites that I found. Um, yeah so let's get rolling and I'll see you at each one. Hey guys, I just arrived at the first one, um, which is a kids one. I've just got a couple of the little treehouse books, which were a collectible thing. I've also got a Mother's Day book, which is fitting because Mother's Day is coming up this weekend. And I have this one here as well because one of my music students wanted that one. So we will drop those in and... Um, we will see. Actually, I might have an adult book as well. Um, I might do this one. For the adults, I'm just grabbing it out of the bag next to me. <laughs> we might do um, Left for Dead by Everest for a adult book as well. So we'll pop in and see what there is. They added some ornaments from last time. Let's try and open it. Okay, Let's see what there is first. Dropping the camera around. <laughs> Hikes, pyramid, the loop, vanishing, the reckoning. Visible world, the glass leg. Nothing really at the top. Lots of kids books in here. Mm. No, nothing that we want. So I'll pop mine in. Hopefully we can pop them in. Okay guys, so I'm at the next one, so let's head over. I have a um, David Embra book to put in there, and um, The Faults in Our Stars. I decided not to read that because I had seen the movie, so um, let's head over. Okay. That's the book I put in last time I see it. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, it's a lizard. <laughs> Me, my. Okay, I'll put my two books in. Which is that one and that one. Did I close that properly? Yep. Nothing to collect, but that is all good because we've been doing lots of giving so far. Okay, I'm going to try and fit one more in before work today and then I'll do that some more another day. Bye. Okay, so our last stop for today, I have this little treehouse book. 
I have Goldilocks and the Three Bears and the Three Little Pigs. This is a kids drop off point at a child care centre and this self help care book as well. And then we'll do some more adapt another day. So I'll finish off this bit and then I'll head to work and I'll see you again another day. Okay, have a look in here first. Lots and lots of kids' books, as you can see. Best of Farmers, Save Our Sleep. Yeah, just a bunch of kids' stuff. I'm gonna put in this little library one. This self help one. And then we used to as well. Okay, there we go. Morning, everybody. <laughs> this is another day in the future. Um, we had a very rainy week last week, so I couldn't um, do any filming for the little libraries then. But this week, I'm hopefully going to get the remaining four done. Um, I'm trying to do two this morning um, before I head to the post office and get to work and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so let's see. I've got two books that I'll um, show you later on, which I'll be giving. And um, yeah, we'll see if there's anything special to um, take and read. See you at the first one. Okay guys, I arrived at the first one and I've got this book to um, pop in, so let's see if there's any goodies. Stopped. <laughs> this I think. It's a Cuffy Reese book. Mortal Remains. And the key is the break. I'll we'll take the Cuffy Reese one and we'll put that one in. There's a fair few to look through. I picked up this one, um, Mortal Remains, Kathy Reese. Um, I'm collecting a few of her books at the moment, actually, because um, I'm going to give them a go again. I love to the bone show. Um, yeah, so that would be good to have in my to read. Uh, let's go to the next one. Hey guys, I found the second one. Um, I've got Unstoppable to drop off there and we'll see if there's any goodies in this one. in here today. Do 
Miss Patterson. Looks like she was in here. It's the book I put in last time. German. <laughs> see what's behind. I don't think there's anything in here by the look. No, there's nothing in there. Let's put this one in. in that one guys but that's cool it's all about oh, give me as well um i'll do the other couple another day when i can um and for now i'll carry on with my day catch you soon hey guys it's finally a gorgeous sunny day as you can see with that sky um, so I'm going to try and do the last little library that I need to do because it's so gorgeous while I'm running around doing appointments and shopping and whatnot. Um, I have the day off which is lovely. And then I can finish this lovely little library video for you all. So let's head there. I do have a couple of books with me to pop in. I am Milana. Molala, I cannot pronounce that, I apologize. Really good read that actually. And Joey, which was a really good read as well. I read those um last year. But let's go take a look at this little library, see if there's anything in there on this gorgeous, gorgeous day. See you there. Possibility. The train. See that to the other bits. Kathy Reeks ones, but I don't know if I've got those ones or not. Possibilities. Let's see what's in this one. Okay, 
Put my one in. Um, pop it in where I'm gonna grab them, I guess. I don't know. So I'll pop this one in. And grab this one. And I'm also gonna grab this one. And I'll go back to the car and grab the other book. Just pop in. This one in as well. And I'll fix that one up. Make sure it's closed. And we're done. Okay, so I popped uh, my two books in because I actually got two books. I got this one here, which is Inferno The Day Victoria Burned by Roger Franklin. I'll do like a little mini haul when I'm at home and read the blurbs and stuff for you. And I thought this was interesting too. The second assistant, a tale from the bottom of the Hollywood ladder. Because I'm into my movies and stuff, so I thought that would be all good as well. So, success at that one. Um, yeah, so I'll do like a little mini haul of what I got out the little libraries at the end to finish this video off. So I'll catch you all when I do that. Bye. Hey everybody, welcome to the end part of the little library video. So this part is where I show you the books that I got from a couple of the little libraries and I go through what they are pretty much so thank you for joining me first of all <laughs> so I have three books here uh, the first one is a Kathy Reich book called uh, Mortal Remains and the blurb says well, I will zoom in if you want to follow along so it says, uh, John Lowry was declared dead in 1968, the victim of a huge crash in Vietnam. His body buried along in North Carolina. Four decades later, Temperance Brennan is called to the scene of a drowning in Hemiford, Quebec. The victim appears to have died while in the midst of a bizarre sexual practice. The corpse is later identified as John Lowry, but how could he die twice? And how did an American soldier end up in Canada? Um, Tam sets off for the answer, exhuming his grave in North Carolina and taking the remains to Hawaii for reanalysis to the headquarters of J. Pack, the military's joint pal and my accountant comrade which strives to recover americans who have died in past conflicts in hawaii tempt is joined but joined by her colleague and ex-lover detective andrew ryan and by her daughter who is recovering from a tragic loss soon another set of remains is located with lowry's dog pigs tangled amongst them three bodies all identified as Lowry and then Tempt is contacted by Peter um, Holland Lulu's flamboyant medical examiner who helps identify the remains of an adolescent boy found offshore was he the victim of a shark attack or was it something more sinister so yeah this is my the Kathy Reese book actually to add to my to do list um to read list um so yeah next month I'll definitely have to put one on my uh, TBR to read the next one that I found was Inferno the day Victoria burned by Roger Franklin and the blurb says on February 7th, 2009, 173 Victorians died in the worst bushfire disaster in Australian history. 
on Black Saturday as the day become known, families were torn apart, countless homes and buildings reduced to rubble. 430,000 hectares torched, communities crushed, and entire towns destroyed in an unstoppable sea of flames. Um, written by veteran journalist Roger Franklin, the film is a classic blend of action, heartbreak, survival, love, and community. The narrative brings to life the tales of horror and heroism, recounts um, the devastation of King Lake, Marysville, and other Victorian towns, and salutes the generosity and unyielding spirit of humanity on the state's darkest day. There are failings too on the day of unprecedented tragedy, communication breakdowns, inadequate warning systems, bush le- left unburnt, and lack of leadership. So yeah, I thought that would be an interesting read. Um, today I'm just going to start pictures of what was going on. We've had lots of awful bushfires around. Um, so yeah, I grabbed that one. And the third one is called The Second Assistant. A Tale from the Bottom of the Hollywood Ladder by Claire, Nella, and Mimi Hare. I haven't heard of this book. It's a bit, um, oldish, but that's alright. <laughs> I was just keen to read it. So the blurb says, um, the agency, Hollywood's premier talent agency, a place polished marble floors, Brilliant sunlight, Gucci sunglasses, and a celebrity client you've never met, though you know who they're sleeping with. The second assistant's assistant, sorry, one Elizabeth, newly employed by uneducated, in over his head, agent extraordinary Scott and his psychic Lara, uh, the woman who hates everyone and everything in Hollywood. Day one, Laura warns Elizabeth never to date anyone in the business and Elizabeth thinks it to be a doddle. Um, but then she finds herself floating in her boss's pool wearing a G-string and a diamond necklace. Um, the end of the line, not sure for Lizzie, she's a survivor and no, no um, assistant or... Um, studio mongrel can douse her dreams of climbing up from the bottom of the Hollywood ladder. So yeah, those were the three that I got from the treasures of the little libraries. Um, and then yeah, I just enjoyed the fact of, um, giving in a lot of them. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for... Um, upcoming book videos and yeah I'll definitely do another little library um, tour um, probably in July sometime I would say but yeah I'll catch you all very soon bye